challenge, dude. This complete moron of a streamer is facing up to life in prison for a. This complete moron yeah, of a streamer is facing up to life in prison for a stupid kick challenge, and he wasn't even wait. invited to. Wait, 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 wait. Was this a guy that broke into houses during during the uh uh the hurricanes? Bro, he was out here like breaking into houses and just staying in like someone else's house while a hurricane is going in. Mac Miller is definitely top. Begin with so. How do we get here? Well, in my last video on this situation, we found out there was a stream by name Shuvi, and just a few months ago, Shuvi decided to trespass onto a police and fire rescue training facility in Fairfax County, Virginia. And unfortunately for him, what a that moron. Mean he had literal stream snipers. No way, we should go down there for yeah. sure. Wherever there's a do not enter, that's always where you gotta enter that. <laughs> yeah, the helicopters. Out, Cause they're gonna come back. <laughs> they got helicopter. <laughs> well, they got thermal. Work. Maybe they didn't find us, right? I have something right here. Yo. No, oh, dude, down. these guys are so <laughs> dumb. Hands up! Hands up! <laughs> All right, one of the subjects are coming out with their hands up. I'm yep. Sorry. Great job, everybody. This would be why you don't trespass into a police training facility. So you would think, maybe Just you would learn maybe, from this. That would be. A big lesson. Apparently, nope, not, nope, nope, nope. For Shuvi, just a month later, his desperate attempts for internet fame would then get him arrested yet again. F yes, he is the person. He is the person that was breaking into houses during an actual hurricane. During the hurricanes that just recently happened, this dude was out here streaming himself, picking locks, and breaking into people's houses. What an idiot, dude. Facing life in prison this time. As Good. the streamer Aiden Ross announced, he would give the streamers uh -huh. Sam Bond and Sweater God $70,000 if they stayed to live stream the hurricane. So, Scuba Ryan tweeted this. Which is vague, I guess, but for some reason, a bunch of other streamers thought this was for any streamer. And this was just a, an apparent open invite. If you stream and survive the hurricane, Aiden was going to give you $70,000. Hence why you had that guy on the air mattress oh outside. God. And now, yeah. should be breaking into condo for shelter while live streaming it and now we have way more context to what actually happened in those condos as the twitter user kick was kind enough to bro, send over the full stream he was all who in their right mind thinks a hurricane's going on oh let's do the next best thing let's just start breaking into people's houses they're not gonna care they don't care everyone's evacuated who cares about stuff that's just gonna get water damage anyways Yo, what a what type of moron do you have to be? Also, the one who let me know about the two streamers who were given the challenge and that it wasn't an open-ended challenge for any kick stream. Well, of so course it wasn't an open challenge, now. dude. Now we know that Shuvi drove his car. Of course it's not an open challenge because then he would have to take he would take responsibility for every single person that, that sat there and stayed during the hurricane. Like, bro, there's no way Aiden Ross is gonna do that, dude. What happened? If you stream and survive the hurricane, Aiden was going to give you $70,000. Hence why you had that guy on the air mattress outside and was also evacuated. While that's partially true because right. the whole area was in a state of emergency and had been evacuated, but nobody lived in that building yet. So that at least helps to make him look not as bad. Unfortunately for Shuvi though, all of his information is out there due to his previous arrest and the yep. fact that he was live streaming everything he was doing. So the police knew exactly idiot, who they were looking for and where he was. So for Shuvi, it's a little bit late to get his information off the internet, but for a normal person, it's still doable. Well, how do you reduce the amount of information about you that's on the internet? Oh, this is an ad break. To do so, you need to combat data brokers because we've all signed up for something with our number. Then suddenly, they got me, bro. They got all me. All sorts of telemarketers. We'll, we'll play it. We'll play it. Especially now that we're in the election season. I mean, there's just so much spam coming in from that. But data brokers, they take your information from various sites and they sell them to the highest bidder. The only problem is there's just way too many of these sites that you're gonna have to email every single yeah, one yeah, and take yeah. down requests for your information. And before you know it, you're spending more time doing that than a part-time job. But that's where today's sponsor, Incogni, comes in because they manage all of that uh -huh. for you. They'll scan the internet Incogni. for your information and automatically send takedown requests. And they will keep checking for you to make sure that you don't get put back into the system. I've now been using Incogni for about one year and it's already had 287 data collectors take my information down, which has saved me roughly 215 hours. So I am happy there's a solution to this massive problem. And hey, if you're dealing with the same issues, you can use my code to okay, okay. 60% off your first Not bad. Me, the service has already been a massive win because the spam calls I used to receive have pretty much vanished but that's just sadly the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what data collectors collect the crazier stuff would be your shopping habits 
address, yep. social security number, and employment history. So I'm grateful Incogni wanted to support the channel and allow me to promote a product I personally use and enjoy. So again, if you think Incogni could help you, you can go to incogni.com slash Atosi by clicking the link right below to start taking your personal data off the market. But without further ado, let's continue the video. So yes, the yes, continue. So with him laying on the kitchen counter trying to get some rest. He tosses and turns for about an hour until he gets up to do something because of how bad the dust is. You know, just the casual side effects of breaking into a construction site and living in someone's condo without any AC being on. Right. I woke up with a stuffy nose from dust. A stuffy dust nose. A dusty nose. Now, who, who watches this guy? It cannot be good. But then he presents his problems. The sus part is, I don't even know if I'm here alone or not. You're in that red zone? Yeah, I need to move now. I think. I need to go now. Before she gets critical. Huh. But instead of leaving, he decides what? to set up the... camp, and he does so in the dumbest way possible. For one, he's live streaming himself trespass and breaking and entering. So, you know people have already reported him, and authorities oh, of are course. Watching. But then he goes down to his car to get a gas generator to bring up to his apartment and fire on up there. Dude's apparently never heard of carbon monoxide poisoning. He then also starts to realize that he's not alone in the building. Chat, did you guys see this, bro? What? The tank is gone off of the thing that moves in and out. Did you guys see it? I was like, I think, bro, someone's been here. Someone took off the tape. I could have got locked out. But despite the warning signs, he just continues to what? unload and Why? set up his little death trap. What? Bro, if you notice something has been tampered with that you set up, why are you going back in? It doesn't just fall on the ground, you know? It doesn't just fall on its own. Alright, bro. I swear, bro. Criminals have to be the dumbest people. Most of them. Not all. Yeah, he actually spends about an hour moving this generator around while streaming. Bro, I don't think I realize how heavy this is. I'm too weak. I might actually be cooked. Bro, there's no way. No way. 144 steps. I'm not even on seven yet. I didn't even get up one floor. I have to do that 11 more times. There's no way I'm gonna be able to bring this back down and return it. What, like, bro, what did you, what did you expect, bro? Then his next problem was he needed to figure out how to get internet if he was going to stream through the hurricane. So I guess he had some Starlink with him. And I mean, watching uh, okay. this guy try to figure out how to set up a Starlink device was incredibly painful. I get that he might not be the brightest. Wait, what is Starlink? We're talking about his incredibly stupid actions here, but wow. All right, let's see. I have an idea. Watch, bro. I'm really genius. Yeah, you're a genius. All right. Well, re realistically, I'd put the cord through the hole. I'm not a genius. God damn it. What? Is he setting well, up a satellite? Anyway. Oh my god. No, no. Oh my. Oh no. I'm calling it. <sighs> Bro, it's gonna break before I even get to use it. Yeah, that went on for about an hour as well until you called tech support. Except it's not tech support, it was Ice Poseidon. Probably the worst person. Oh you could wow. Call Sorry, my fault. My fault though. As TLDR, all I said was, Yeah, dude, I, I don't know. I think you're gonna die. That was my terrible ice poseidon voice yeah, i mean it's kind of sounds similar exactly where he is while talking to ice including what floor he's staying on and which portion of the building he's on by you know showing the camera out everywhere what a building are you in like what kind of building is this it's a condo building i know but is it uh rated for hurricanes 
It's in the red evacuation zone. It's 500 feet away from the water. Yeah, but do you, do you know what kind of windows it has? I don't know, but they're broken. It has like these shattered windows. Oh, wait, those are, dude, how are they shattered? It's like, you know, the fancy stuff. It's intentional. Yeah, okay. Um, yo, dude, you're gonna... Is that... I mean, if you want to stay there and stream, that'd be good content, but you're gonna die. I feel like this generation of streamers need to be studied. You're going to die, but it'll be great content. It's yeah, such yeah, a yeah. hilariously dystopian thing to say. Bro. But this dude is also dumb enough to where he doesn't understand the severity of a Category 5 hurricane. Not only that, so not only that. Think, of, think about what you're saying. This dude is dumb enough to live stream himself breaking in and entering a, some random dude's condo. I mean, do you really think he cares? Do you really think he cares? He's dumb enough to live stream himself commit crimes. Like, crimes. Trespassing, now breaking in and entering. Bro, he deserves life in prison. Because while it didn't hit as a category He's five, so dumb. While he was streaming this, everyone thought Tampa was going to get hit with yeah. a category five hurricane. Why would I die? Those windows are those windows are gonna continue to break. Yeah. All right, I have a lot of duct. I have a lot of duct tape. I mean, yeah, it'll be good content. So, hey, just so you know, well, the Starlink's not gonna work in the clouds. Well, I guess I'm then. You need to. Uh, do you have anywhere where you can get home internet, like uh, the Ethernet cord, like cable or something? Uh. Yeah, I mean, there's one right here, actually, but I don't, I doubt it's connected yeah, to anything. That, that's not going to be connected, yeah. So, yeah no, that's I coax. Mean, the Starlink doesn't work, work when there's a lot of clouds. Yeah, so I guess I'll just be out here with no connection. I'll just make a YouTube video, I guess. Well, you're going to be dead, so that's not going to be possible. I guess the appeal to this guy's stream is you just get to see a complete moron figure out yeah, life yeah, and yeah. consequences live. Well, I'm not worried about the windows. All right, the worst case scenario, the water starts flooding in from the front door, which, uh, you know, because the roof is probably leaking. It's going to be flooded with water. You're going to be drowning in the apartment. The window is going to fly in from the wind. Um, and then you're going to be sucked out in a vortex. Uh, drowning while falling at the same time. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it was already leaking in here from the roof. And 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 it was barely raining. Dangerous, it's not secure. <laughs> I don't think you could have called a less reassuring guy, but Ice then continues to list off how dumb this guy is and how yeah. many different ways he it's die. crazy. No, no, nah, nah, it's crazy when Ice Poseidon is, is like your guardian angel, like, or you're telling you that you're going, like, that it's not going to be good enough for the content. It's bad when Ice Poseidon is telling you, bro, it's not safe. Hopefully, crazy. You tell him about how bad of an idea this generator inside would be. Yeah, don't plug in the gas generator in the apartment. You're going to die. I wasn't going to. I was going to put it, like, right there. Or here. I mean, I don't think you should uh, turn off the generator anywhere inside the building because uh, you could still, maybe the gases, like, make you pass out or something. Damn. But I'm going to... It's a big building, but still. But I'm going to need it. Yeah, but you maybe, like, need to... I don't know. I mean, I mean you should, like, rope the generator to the outside of, like, a rail or, like, a tree or something. A tree? Yeah, or like a rail or something, but if you turn it on inside, it might cause like some seat, some like carbon monoxide issues and you might get pass out. Alright, um... No, it either. If it explodes, the whole building goes down, then you drown and that would be horrible. Or I explode. <laughs> This is the dumbest clip I've seen. No, dude. Time. I feel like there's about two brain cells in total that are firing off in this. Oh, one hundred percent. I just can't get over the fact that this guy thought it was a good idea to be live streaming himself, breaking and entering, and trespassing Bro. for hours on end in a building that's very recognizable. 
it's very easy for someone who's familiar with Tampa to know exactly where he is. All right. Uh, all right. So what if I like duct tape it around those bar? Like, what if I push it into the corner? I duct tape it around like a hundred times around those bars. Is that your generator? Yeah. And I just run the cords inside. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. That's what, a great idea. Like, imagine I put it right here in this corner. And then I duct tape it on the outside of those bars a yeah, bunch of times. That's a fan. I, I think yeah, that's I mean, a great idea. All right, why is it not a good idea? Well, okay. I mean, I think that the, the, the rails uh, on the balcony, they one, they might fly off. So then you have a generator going 200 miles an hour. You crash it into something, and that's going to kill somebody. Or the gases leak through the window still kill you or it explodes because a tree hits it and then now you're the apartment's on fire <laughs> oh ice is like talking like he's going to be in the middle of sharknado I yeah 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 i thought that he was going to get hit by a cat 5 hurricane but 200 plus miles negative, per hour and wind Shuvi is way too positive i agree that apartment is probably a terrible place to be in yeah. a category 5 hurricane everyone with a brain and that could evacuate evacuated but you're not, there's no way you're going to be able to turn that generator on inside the building without risking your life. It's weird hearing Ice be the voice. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Until he's not. If you want to, I mean, if I was you and I was like really trying to get a stream going, I would risk it. I would turn on the generator oh, at the bottom of the stairs and, and risk it. That's what I would do. Okay. I mean, but how bad could it be? serious injury or death like if he's running a generator in the hallway that's just a recipe for disaster and he's also potentially causing a hazardous environment for the construction workers for when they return anyway that support call wasn't really that productive no. and he then starts to receive hints that people outside of the kick community are watching i'm a reporter with wfla do we have permission to broadcast your stream when milton arrives on land I don't believe that's real, but if you are real, sure. Like, what did he think what? was going to happen? But if that's not a massive reason to pack it on up and leave while you still can, I don't know what is. But despite all the warnings, he decides to go get his generator anyway. Crisis mode, which provides free crisis for, for generator emission is really that bad. No, I'm literally about to just go get my generator and then go to bed. So he pulls the generator in, he grabs a shovel, and for some reason goes back downstairs. And this is where it seems like he gets stuck in a hallway and decides to try to open a door with his knife. Yeah, what and this an is where idiot, he got arrested. Bro. But that last portion of the stream is like watching a Metal Gear Solid Let's Play <laughs> as he's just quietly sneaking around the building, trying not to get detected. No. No. No way, bro. Bro, our. I think Are you dumb? Yes, yes, I'm answering that for him. <laughs> My hands are up. Get down here, right now. I'll you up. Get down. Get down. Put your phone down. I'm on the ground now. I'm on the ground. I'm on the ground. Yo, yeah. what an idiot. really bad for him. And people didn't really <laughs> seem to realize how bad things really are for him. Because this guy could actually go to prison for a long time for this kick challenge. Because the charges were kick armed challenge. and yeah. resisting an officer without violence. In Florida, armed burglary can result in a sentence of up to life in prison. And after talking to some kick guys, I found out he apparently was denied bond. So he is still locked up as of recording this video. And this was all because of some confusion around an Aiden Ross challenge. Aiden did clear up the confusion with this tweet, but sadly- Yes, yes, uh, you guys need to get to safety and evacuate. To... But again, why did he even promise the 70K to two random streamers, bro? Why? What was the point behind it? What was the point? He created a mass amount of like, uh, of <laughs> a kick challenge that goes around. This was after Shuvi has been arrested because Shuvi got arrested at about 10.30 in the morning. Aiden corrected himself or I guess set the record straight at like 5 p.m. Probably because of the Shuvi arrest. 
and because of the dude on the hot yeah. air mattress outside live streaming. But I mean, come on, guys. The thing is, if you're going to break the law, costume no, party, and especially it's not Halloween. It. And if you're going to risk your life for a competition, you better have confirmation that you're actually competing in the competition. Right. I wanted to add some context for this video as a lot of people were wondering what happened before this viral arrest clip. So feel free to subscribe if you're new here. You might not see me again and check out Incognito with my link down below. Oh, yeah, yeah. We saw that one. Here, and Dude. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. On God, I'll see you in the next one too, man. Yo, W video. W video, man. We did see what happened to his life in Korea. Uh, he deserved every bit that he got. L man's Johnny Somali. And now, oh, this dude. Not, not, uh, A T O Z Y. A to Z Y. Whatever. Uh, what was his name? Shuvi. L Shuvi, bro. L Shuvi.